It's been about eight and a half months since the 2020 calving season began for us here on the ranch. And that means that the calves are now starting to get old and they're actually ready to enter the next phase. It's time to say goodbye to mama and hit these mangers and start gaining some weight. That's what we're doing today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. I've been asked a few times why we wean the calves. A lot of people don't understand the purpose of this and it just really appears to be sort of a mean thing to do to separate a baby from its mother. But there's actually a couple of important reasons why this has to be done. The first reason is feed. As winter sets in and these cattle's diet consists mostly of what I'm giving them, if we try to feed all the calves and the mothers together, the calves are not gonna get a fair amount of feed because the bigger cows are gonna steal it all from them. Not to mention the fact that the cows at this stage in their life need to be on a maintenance diet, whereas we want the calves to grow and to be on a grow diet. And it's virtually impossible to do this when the animals are housed together. Another reason is milk production. The cattle in this herd are gonna start having their calves for the 2021 season in about four months. So in that amount of time, they need a chance to dry up and just sort of kind of take it easy for a little while before their new calves come in the spring and we got to do this all over again. The calves are big enough now where they can drink every drop of milk that mother is producing and that actually puts a lot of stress on her body as she tries to keep up with that need. So now that the calves really don't need the milk, it's more of just something that they want, it is the time for them to separate, get away from mother, let her recover, and now with their new found appetites, they can go up to the mangers and eat all the hay that I can give them. This year, however, there is an exception. Not every single calf out here is gonna get weaned. This little girl right here that was only born a couple, eh, maybe three weeks ago now, uh, sort of a surprise and definitely off schedule for this herd. She'll stay with mom. Um, I think that we will put the calf and the mother in with the butcher steers and the rest of the weaned calves. For now, that's gonna be fine because it's not muddy out here yet. When it starts to get muddy, we might have to make some changes, but that is the plan at least for today. I've already successfully made my mad dash out to the gate to lock the herd in the main corral here. And as you can see, a couple of these cattle are just almost too cooperative and have already walked back in here in the working corral. So, in order to get this all done, I've got to go and bring the entire herd in here and then we can start separating. They know it's about weaning time and that's maybe why they were so reluctant to get in here part of it also was that there's a little bit of hay in this manger here and they were all kind of stopping and trying to eat there that certainly didn't help but we got them all in here except for hank and the new calf but hank and the new calf are going to go into the little pasture with the butcher steers so rather than try to bring them in with everybody else which i really don't want to do especially with the calf there's a gate into that little field and I think we'll just try to run them both into there and I will try to get number 13 back out there with her calf as soon as I can and hopefully that'll settle everybody down. Nice and easy. steer. Go to that steer. Go to him. Good baby. I know, that mud's so fun. Huh? 
Okay, you guys watch her for me. Cannot believe this didn't get stepped on. Hey, get out of here! Okay. This is a real professional film job here, but I had to get number 13 by herself so that I can put her out with her calf and she's not happy about this. So we'll see if she gets an idea. I hope she turns rather than tries to jump the fence. Ooh, there we go. Now your baby's out here. Oh, we got a reunion. What a beautiful thing. Okay, so real quick what happened there. As I was bringing cattle out of this little corral, uh, number 13 kept coming up to the gate. She was really wanting out. And I thought that if I just ran in front of her and closed that exit gate, I could catch her and get her back out with her calf. Well, that kind of happened, but when she came through, a bunch of the other ones came through with her. And when I saw that crowd of animals in this little corral, I was, I was sure there went a $400 camera. But by some miracle, nobody stepped on the camera. Uh, the tripod got slightly bent, barely at all. It's still usable, um, but that's all that happened. So anyway, 13 is back out with her calf. We still got a few more adult cows in here. So let's get back to work. Well, you are just... Is that as fast as we go there? So we're getting down sort of to the bottom of the barrel here. And I think it's going to be easier for me to just go ahead and grab a group of calves and get them out of there. There's still a few adult cows that need to come out. There's one that needs to stay because she's going to go through the chute. We'll get into that a little bit later. But yeah, the way these calves are all kind of backed up here, I think I'll grab as many of them as I can and then we'll go back to getting cows. He's getting it. Come on, 
kids. Look what your friends are doing. Look what your friends are doing. They're figuring something out. Hey, boy. I know you know the way out. Now you go. Alrighty. Lump jaw, you gotta stay. Sorry. But you can go. You, you. Go on, you two. 52. Back there on the barn. She's facing the right way. So if we kind of can get this calf to move, maybe she will go forward. That. Now we can get in here. We're just down to a pile of calves and this cow that needs to go through the chute. So she's wanting to go through the gate bad. The calves are not. Unfortunately, I don't need her to go through this gate. I need her to go through a different one. So I'm hoping that it's not going to be too hard to separate them and keep her in here by herself. Um, I've got all the gates behind me closed. So if she was to get by, it's not going to be the end of the world. So let's uh, go ahead and give this a go. It's okay. Here. Here. All right, kids. Here is your new home. Well, now that everybody is separated, I'm gonna go ahead and feed the cows and the calves um, in their mangers for the first time this year. And that should settle the cows down for at least a little while because now they're mad about two things. They're mad that their babies are gone and they're mad because they're hungry. So we can take away one of those and we're gonna do it. I have to say, this haystack is making me a little bit nervous. I gotta climb up there and I don't know how well it's gonna translate to, uh, to camera, how far that stack is leaning. So I really hope that it doesn't fall over when I'm up there. If I'm careful, it should be fine. But man, that just look at that thing. All right, well, that's the leaner there. It doesn't look as bad up here. So I guess we're just gonna do it. Oh, that's a long jump. Oh, 
it's a long jump. Okay, so what happened there, um, I was just throwing a few bales off of the top of this stack that's leaning so bad so that when I walk on it, it's a little more steady. And one of the bales bounced off the ground into the manger. And I'm not ready to have hay in there just yet because um, if there's only one bale in there, the cows all swarm on it and they're a lot more likely to break something in the manger when that's going on. So that's why I had to jump down there to pull that bale out before they screwed something up. And I did. So all's well that ends well. Let's, uh, let's get some hay down in that manger so they can eat. All right, mom and cows are fed and they are using every last slot in this manger, which I actually don't like. I like there to be a few open spots on the end in case somebody's getting bullied out, then they've always got somewhere to go. But I haven't pulled cold cows out yet. I know I've been saying that I'm gonna do it for like the last month, but uh, things just keep getting in the way. I'm hoping maybe next weekend, we'll see. Um, but once cold cows come out, that'll free up a few more spots here. So they'd, they just gotta survive like this for a little while. Now that they're taken care of, let's go throw some hay in the manger for those calves. ago on the ranch I started doing what is called fence line weaning and that is exactly like what it sounds. This fence right here is all that separates mothers and calves and although there's no one standing here yet because they're all up eating in probably an hour or so you'll have a line of mothers on this side of the fence and a line of calves on the other side. The fence will still be separating them so they are still being weaned but they're able to touch noses through the fence and sniff each other and it's thought that this really eases the transition and minim minimizes the stress on both mother and calf. This is good not only just because it's the nice right thing to do but it also is going to be a lot better for the calves as far as keeping their immune systems in top shape because weaning is one of the most stressful times in their lives and one of the times when they're more susceptible to catching different sorts of diseases. So I feel that doing it this way, it's easier on the animals and it's better for them. Everything is quiet out here now, but you can rest assured that in about 20 or 30 minutes, when all the hay's cleaned up at the big manger, there's gonna be a racket out here and it'll last for about three days. We always say it takes three days to get the ball out. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys, and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Thank you.